Next up is IBIS import. So this is a feature that gets asked for by customers periodically. And what they want to do is they want to take an IBIS file and use that IBIS file as a source for their part in PSPICE. This previously was possible in PSPICE, but it only accepted very old versions of IBIS. What we've done now is taken the, the IBIS capabilities out of the signal integrity tools and use some of that technology to help in the translation. So we now support the most current version of IBIS and we will continue to support the newest version of IBIS going forward. And you can now bring in version up to, I believe 5.1 is current. You can bring those models in from IBIS into SPICE so that you can run those in your PSPICE tool. So if this is something interesting, you want those VT curves and you wanna use those as a source for your model, you can now do that in PSPICE. I'll show you how to do that quickly here. I'm just gonna open up the PSPICE model editor in 16.6. So here that is, here's the PSPICE model editor. What you can do now is you can use this IBIS translator available from the model menu. And this is gonna bring up a dialogue for us. I believe this is HTML based. You can browse for some IBIS file that you want. So I'm gonna browse for this IBIS file that I have right here. And if you wanna take a look at that IBIS file, that just looks like this. So just an FYI, what that looks like here is that IBIS file. So it looks like a pretty regular IBIS file. We wanna take that and turn it into something that PSPICE can use. Okay. So we'll hit OK here, and here's the component, the different models, the pins it's associated with, and the signals those are associated with as well. So you can see these different models, different pins, and different signals. You can choose which specification you want to use, so MinTip Max or all of them if you want to. Um, your your waveforms, your fixture, if you want to change that around, you can, and. Um, I'm, I'm going to leave everything as default in this case and hit OK. And with that, it's going to now generate a PSPICE model that I can use. So you'll notice that this was a version 3.2 IBIS model. We do take up to current if you want to. This is now a file that I can use in PSPICE going forward. So just make a symbol for it by going to File, Export to Capture Part Library. That'll make a symbol for it, and you can then use this part in Capture with PSPICE.